Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm actually in the garden. I'm not going anywhere special. I'm just here in the garden because we're surrounded by quite a lot of nice flowers. And I think it'd be really quite nice to actually get some photographs of them. So I've got the camera mounted on the tripod as per here. And I've got a new gizmo on the camera, on the tripod, which is this, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, rack and pinion arrangement that allows me to move the camera backwards and forwards. And in this sort of situation where you're really very, very close to the subject, in this case, this poppy just in the corner of the frame here. Um, and I've got a, an optical adapter on the front of the lens here, which is a, a 10 times zoom lens, really quite cheap off Amazon. <coughs> And that is allowing me to get really tightly in on the centre of the, uh, the poppy here, so just down there. I'm just focusing in on the area, that black area with the small um, uh, seed pod in the centre, I think it is. And that's taking up the whole frame, so it's quite a, an a extensive bit of magnification going on. And I've also got a, um, when I can find the control to get the camera to point here, uh, I've got an extension ring, a 10 millimetre extension ring on, and is and it's all moved since I set it up. I've got the geared head here, so that's allowing me to make the fine adjustments that I want. And let's wind that up a bit. The wind's blowing, which isn't helping. As you can see, the wind is actually blowing things around. Um, so I'm trying to get that seed head you probably can't see it on the screen there Let's tip that down a bit now you can't see it um, there's the seed head under the shadow of my hand I'm trying to get that in the center of the frame so a little bit of adjustment a little bit of minor adjustment here and a bit of minor adjustment there and that's what the geared head is really good for. It's excellent for doing these minute adjustments. And then using the control on the, the rack and pinion arrangement here, I can wind the whole mechanism in and out, as you can see. There it is winding it in and out to get the composition that I'm looking for and I'm going to have to switch over to doing some video on the camera so that you can actually see what's happening on the back of the screen because the reflection on the uh, the rear of the LCD monitor is making it virtually impossible to actually do anything in the way of showing you directly so I'm going to switch across to videoing from my iPhone and capturing the screen from the camera to give you a bit more context so what you're seeing now is this is um, screen capture of the image edge application running which is talking directly to my camera so the shot you're seeing is actually image edge running on my iphone and as you can see it's really quite windy which is making it difficult to take the shot so i'm basically waiting for a lull in the wind which is more or less happening now and i'm taking an aperture priority f18 25th of a second shot and that shot is happening now and that's ISO 500 because I wanted the shutter speed to be reasonably quick and there we have it the shots in the bag well I've opened the image in Lightroom and I've cropped in on the image quite tightly and I'll show you the, the amount of crop that I've applied to it here you can see that we've got quite a lot of cropping I've probably lost about roughly a third of the image because my main interest is the seed head inside the poppy nestling inside and we've got this nice out of um, focus area in front which is helping to enhance the sort of crispness of the poppy head here and the various little fronds or stamen coming up but what I've noticed is that on the right hand side as you can see here of all of the objects in this picture there is a, a nasty blue fringing happening very obvious just in this area here which if I zoom in further you can see more obviously and I'm not happy about that and that's because I've used that 10 times magnification um, fit on on the front of my camera so although the image is quite attractive I don't like what it's done to this area here at all so I'm going to go outside and try again to take the shot but this time without the 10 times magnifier on which will obviously mean I have to set the camera up in a different position 
and the um, image I'll put up next is the resultant image which I'm far far happier with than what I got here and I can actually show that to you that is the image that's much closer it's actually that isn't even uh, cropped particularly heavily um, as you can see it's not cropped at all and that's without the 10 times magnifier on and it's brought out an awful lot more detail and obviously we've got a different depth of field in this image compared to the first one but this is much closer to what I was hoping to get the first time I took that shot so um, anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and saw my antics playing around with unusual things uh, if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up it does help the channel and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe because that helps the channel progress as well and uh, basically thank you very much for watching